Hello everyone, Forever Trady 2 here. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded anything in the past couple weeks and I'll explain why. As most of you know, through my vlogging channel, uh, before I continue, uh, you may hear noises in the background. That's because my cats are being awful today and uh, my wife is trying to sort them out. <laughs> They've been very uh, rambunctious. Anyways, that aside, and now she's watching something extremely loud. That's nice. Anyways, just try to ignore it, and I'll try to talk loudly so you can hear me over whatever it is she's watching. Anyhow, um, so as many of you know from my vlogging channel, if you've watched it, uh, which I don't really do any videos on anymore because it's really depressive stuff, or it's stuff that I just, when, I, when life gets a little too real, I feel the need to express myself. Uh, but I don't do that anymore because it does nothing for me now. It used to be in my therapy. It used to be just a way of me to vent. Uh, but now that I've actually gained a few friends throughout the years, I have people to vent to, and I don't feel the need to express those on the online space. Especially given how judgmental the online space is anymore these days, it's just best that you don't do that, because then, you're, then you present yourself as a lao cow, which I know I was considered at some point a lao cow to some of those hateful groups that reside on the internet. And that's okay, they're entitled to their opinion, even though I don't agree with it, and others may not, others may, I don't know, I'm not them, so that's besides the point. Also, I have a friendship that may be ending soon, or if it, it may have already ended. Uh, there's a couple people I used to hang out with on a weekly basis, but uh, it's just, I noticed that we are becoming more drifting apart from each other, and it's okay, I kind of made peace with it, but... At the same time, you know, it, it's it's hard, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of used to being thrown like trash, thrown away like trash, so, you know, if they want to throw away my friendship, whatever, I mean, I'm kind of used to that, I'm kind of being used to being thrown away, or just seen as just somebody that is uh, disposable, and that's okay, uh, I just suck it up and deal, because what, what's the point of, uh, well, leading yourself on into something that's not there? Anyways, that's but let's uh, move on from that. Uh, but as I was stating, my Christmas is a very hard time for me. Uh, you spend it with loved ones and family and everything. And as you know, I don't have many loved ones or family down here. Granted, I do have some people I consider family. And I was actually blessed to hang out with the Master Tartars and his wife uh, uh, last week. And uh, unfortunately, uh, his wife was sick, then I got sick, and he got sick. Uh... She had bronchitis, but I think I had, I, I don't want to say, you know, put myself out there and say, hey, it's all about me. No, but I think I got the worst of that. I think I straight out got pneumonia. And the reason why is because I know when I get pneumonia and when I do get pneumonia, I feel like I got bricks in my chest and I can't breathe very well. So that was not fun. And it kind of killed some of the plans we had put in place. Uh, but, you know, we for what we were able to do, we still had some fun and had some good times. And I... I consider myself blessed in the regard that I have those two people as friends. They are some of the most genuine people I've ever met in my entire life. And if they watch this video, which I doubt because they don't really watch my videos, but if they were to watch it, I just want to say to them, thank you so much for being who you are, and thank you for having me up there, and thanks for you know just everything all around. Uh, and... Uh, while this year has also been hard with the financial situation, my wife and I had to take care of a lot of personal things, and in that regard, we weren't able to buy Christmas presents for each other this year. So, when I was up there, uh, the day before I had to come back here to my house, uh, he hands me a Christmas present, and I opened it up, and I'm like, you motherfucker, because... I don't, you know, expect presents anymore, you know, as an adult, uh, you know, I'm so used to not being considered or liked enough or whatever to not res you know, trade presents with somebody. And given my financial state, I couldn't, you know, obviously get him anything. <clears throat> and he knew that, and his wife knew that, and but they were so selfless that they actually got me something. And what they got me was Mega Man 11 for the Switch. And I was extremely grateful. I still have to open and play it. It's just right now. I, when I had to, when I got home, I had to take care of a lot of things because, as you, some of you may or may not know, my wife is very sick. She's in 
a lot of pain and she used to take opiates for those for the pain not to abuse them for you know woo you know like some people out there do but she's actually one of those pain patients who need them in order to function and now that those have been taken away nothing seems to be helping her uh, so I had to basically take care of most of the things that you know you have to do when it comes to the house uh, such as you know cleaning and straightening things and whatever uh, so it's 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 been rough uh, uh, this year and it's it's kind of rough right now and uh, so that's the reason I haven't uploaded any videos and I do apologize I hope all of you will remain patient with me and just understand that life does happen sometimes and I'm not a straight arrow when it comes to mental health as some of you know I do suffer from bipolar and I also have uh, anxiety disorder panic disorder and PTSD uh, due to some of the things I've dealt with throughout my life uh, with trolling and well the way my mother-in-law treated me the way my mother treated me and the way my siblings treated me growing up um, there's a lot of things under that that curtain that you all don't know and I will not reveal some of you to you because those are too personal and I don't want to be too personal online I did give you some information yes but I'm not going to disclose everything that has been done to me and I don't want to be like some of these youtubers that are like oh me 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 because I'm not like that I just want you guys to have a just a little understanding of who I am as a person other than the guy that you know on YouTube that enjoys classic games more than the new things that are uh, available and present uh, and the guy who likes to have fun with y'all during the streams and things and speaking of if all things go well um, I'm trying to earn some money uh, through a friend while well, he's going to Las Vegas uh, but he said if I take care of his pit bulls he'll pay me some money uh, which, you know, I told him that's not necessary. I'll do it for free. And he's like, no, man. He's like, you're going to be take care of my two, my two baby, my two big babies. And I'll, I'll compensate you. He's like, I'm like, well, you, well if you're going to pay me, don't give me a, a, a lot. I don't need it. He's like, dude, I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'm like a hundred dollars for a four days to take care of your pits. That's too much, man. Give me like 20, give me 10. If you want to pay me money. He's like, no, no, man. A hundred dollars is a good. I want to give you $100. So I'm not going to argue. A lot of you would just be like, fuck, why are you arguing with the guy? The thing is, is I don't take advantage of my friends. All right? If they want to give me money, fine. That, for doing them a service. Absolutely. Uh, that's fine. But I was willing to do it for free, for starters. And secondly, if he wanted to pay me, he didn't have to give me that much. But he insists on it. And I've learned if someone insists on giving you something, just accept it gracefully and do what they expect. And all I have to do, it's very simple. I just have to take them out to use the bathroom, spend a couple hours with them to love on them and care for them. I know a lot of you are like, oh, those are pit bulls. Trust me, they're the sweetest babies. And yeah, they have the ability to turn. I'm aware of that. But I trust I trust pit bulls, especially the ones I've been with. I did have one run in as a kid, but it wasn't as bad as, say, some of the ones that actually got the hold of babies and shook them to death and stuff like that. No. I mean, I got bit in the arm, and I was dragged a little bit. This happened when I was seven. Uh, but it was... He let me go eventually, and... It was uh, it was my fault. I was fucking with it. When you're a kid, you do stupid shit. And pit bulls, you can't... I mean, honestly, in my opinion, before I move on from this topic, when you have pit bulls, they do come with an extra responsibility, just like Rottweilers. Um, like Rottweilers, I honestly don't think can be rehomed they become very clingy to their owners and if you rehome them chances are they will turn because they're not used to that personality uh, i could be wrong on that but that's my experience with rottweilers in my time so anyways i'm going to be taking care of his pits and he's going to pay me a hundred dollars um but the thing is is he's probably not going to give me any money until he gets back but um i found someone that i can borrow money from until I get the money from him my buddy Rob and uh, he uh, and in that in that regard what I, what I plan on doing is doing a stream on New Year's uh, if all goes to plan I'm gonna have me the beer and I'm gonna get me some sake I like I love sake and I like to have it on New Year's I haven't had it in a couple years 
but I enjoy the the flow of it. Let's just say. Uh, so I'm gonna get me a couple beers and some sake, just retro game up and have a good time with y'all. Because uh, that's something I do want to do. And then if I can just get my head out of this funk that I've been feeling these past couple weeks, I will get back to making content. I mean, I am gonna be making content. I'm not going away. <laughs> I'm still going to be doing what I have been doing. I just needed some time to fix my broken head a little bit and things are starting to get pieced back together so and I'm getting myself back in that mindset of picking up the controller finding a game to play and try to finish the son of a bitch you know I know there's only so many retro games that I'm going to be able to play before I have to go towards the um, longer titles the only reason one of the reasons I love retro games is not only because they're fun and amazing experiences each time you play them but also uh, the fact that they're short I don't like long games games that are more than 20 hours in my opinion is just too long 20 hours to me is the perfect amount a lot of people like their games 40 80 120 600 hours I'm not one of those people I like I like my experiences a little short sweet and full fun before I can move on to the next thing because then you end up with a collection like myself where I have a lot of unbeaten games because they're just simply too long and I lose interest and then I want to finish those games but I don't because the interest is not there it's kind of a frustrating aspect but uh so uh for those who are still with me and they're the ones that understand my plight uh thank you so much for your love and support and and I appreciate your sub your subs to me and I appreciate you watching my videos and I know they're not the greatest I'm not a you know editing I completely suck ass at I'm using a, a freeware uh, video editor that I still need to learn how to use more uh, perf I don't want to say professionally but more uh, where I can add I guess better effects and aspects to the videos where the editing is good I, I mean I think I do okay but I understand there are some areas that need work and I'm not a video video editor nor do I you know want to hire anybody to do my videos or anything like that I just want to learn I just want to learn this on my own because I just want this to be my channel and you know of course I have my discord where I have my friends there that some of them want to lend a hand Others just, you know, they make ideas and suggestions, and I take them all into consideration. I'm not a dick. Everyone just makes me out to be some kind of dick. But no, I listen to people that actually give a shit about me, and I care about them in return. That's how friendship works. Some of you may have forgotten that over time, or some of you are too young to even remember what friendship was like back when it actually mattered. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. But I want to thank each and every one of you for, for subbing to my channel. I'm Like I said, I'm doing this for fun and for views. But also, too, I have a Patreon. If anyone wants to, you know, throw me a couple bucks, that's that's fine. You know, you don't feel like you have to, though. And those who have, I truly appreciate it. And those uh, that ha are on my Patreon and are watching this video, I hope you checked your inboxes because I sent you all some Steam games because I wanted you guys to have a little bit of something for Christmas. Some of you have responded, and I appreciate that. Also, Patreons, too. Do you want me to make some kind of splash screen at the end of my videos exposing who are my Patreons? Do you want my, your name to be shown, your Patreon name shown at the end of my videos like some of these creators do? Because you guys deserve all the respect for supporting my channel, and I want to make sure your names are out there and but if you don't want that, tell, let me know. If you do want that, let me know. I need feedback. <laughs> I, sometimes I just don't get enough feedback from my fan base, and uh, it's kind of difficult. But I try to come up with things that interest. I mean, I understand I got a niche audience here. It's not like something completely like huge or... I'm not trying to be huge. I'm just trying to have a substantial fan base, people who enjoy retro games and like to chill and want to... You know, watch me pl play some games and have some common conversations and stories and conversations and whatnot, you know. So I like to do it. It's a lot of fun for me. And I hope it's fun for you, too. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. This video went a hell of a lot longer than I was wanting it to. 
I just wanted to explain the state of how things are going, and there hasn't been an upload in a while, and I hope this cleared it up. I've just been too long, didn't listen, I've been depressed, I went to see a friend, I got severely sick, and I had to take care of stuff within the house, so I've been kind of pressed for time, and it's okay, uh, but I do plan on streaming on New Year's, granted I can get the alcohol, because come on, it's New Year's, you gotta get drunk or stoned or both. It's New Year's, come on. <laughs> so anyways, uh, well, uh, like I said, 9 o'clock is, I think, is where I'm going to aim. And, and I'll, I'll try to chill until the, at least the New Year passes. And then we'll probably, you know, we'll call the stream. But I know a lot of people are going to be going out and having a good time. But I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there. You all have a good rest of your day. Take good care of yourselves. Keep loving, keep gaming, and we'll see you on the next one.